We want to go out back out live to our friend Lisa Fisher at Good Earth Garden Center learning how to get a green thumb. What can I keep alive, Lisa? Something very simple. Do you have any ideas? Well, this is easy. You won't kill the hand towels, will you? These are the little kitchen towels. Now I've got some Valentine's gifts ideas. Bacon, now the reason I'm not a vegetarian. All you have to have is a sense of humor. And this one said, this wine is making me awesome. So those are some of the ideas we have out here. Jennifer Gibson is with us from the Good Earth Garden Center. And I tell you, Mallory, what I think everyone needs these look real, don't they? Now, you can't say that to a woman. But these look real, and they are fake tulips. These look real, and they are real daffodils, right? Or jonquils right. or narcissus, whatever you want to call that. So they have these out here. These are spectacular, as we say. They are real, and they are spectacular. It was a Seinfeld line. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, but um, you have these out here, so people can bring the outdoors inside or totally fake the outdoors with the real feel of these tulips. Show me some other things you got. Well, we love these florals. Um, I call them faux florals. Look at that. This is a nice coral color. I like this because you it's got a lot of texture. Honestly, in cannot tell if those are real. And so, are they silks? I mean, what 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 I are think, they? I think a, a mix of silk and yeah. But you can't kill it. That's right. I love it. I've already done my spring mantle because spring gets busy. And yeah. So go ahead and get ready for the spring with some of these sprays and wreaths that you see behind us. So those are yeah, uh, Max, if you get that shot of that, those are things you can do. A lot of people love it, love doing those for their front door, inside their home. The problem with the front door is birds will nest in them. Have you noticed that? Occasionally. Yeah. Because the bird's like, yeah, that's what I want. Who wouldn't want to live there, right? I, I would love to, love to. Okay, now this is what is fascinating me. We've got about a minute left, but kind of explain to me, this is if you want to have an, your own insect farm, right? Uh, well, sort of. So you would put this in a garden to invite beneficial bugs to it. So Are spiders beneficial? Um, well, not no. necessarily. Okay, this would be more for bees right. and butterflies, okay. and it's a cute way to invite them in and give them a place to, to live. And then we have some other things here. Loving these new gloves by Garden Freak called Get a Grip. They get a have Grip. Web oh, they're webbed. So you can pick up more soil. That is so cute. Yeah, I can't even get my big fat sausage fingers in there. But yeah, 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 yeah. And then these are these are the ones that make me laugh. Y'all, if you just if you ever meet me on the street, just make me laugh. We'll be best friends forever. Uh, there was a funny one earlier that was slightly inappropriate. I can't find it right now. But uh, those are some of the fun things you can get here. That's those are great ideas. Of course, for Valentine's Day, you can come to the Good Earth Garden Center, see Jennifer and everybody out here. I've been shopping here a long time. Uh, any gardening things I've ever learned, I learned from these people. Tomorrow, Mallory, we're going to go do Doyman shopping at Cecil's Ooh. Fine Jewelry because it's that time of the year. You can either shop outdoors <laughs> or indoors, and we'll do that tomorrow. We can't wait. Lisa, bringing so much fun and humor, much-needed humor to the news. Lisa, thank you. We'll